37 characters and 37 tips. And I'm gonna be honest, with some of these characters, to say I scraped the bottom of the barrel would be a generous statement, but some of them have the mechanical depth of a puddle and nothing extra to do outside of just the basic stuff you can read on the skills. But, you know, I still tried for some. Thought maybe I didn't. A Nemo Traveler can be used in conjunction with Kaya to make ice bridging just a little bit quicker. Use Albedo's elevator to gain momentum off of any cliff since some just send you straight down when you sprint off of them. Use Baron Bunny's taunt to hit shielded enemies backs with anyone without breaking the shield first. Apply wet status by getting close. Yeah, that, that's it. Activate her counter by setting the grass on fire since sometimes the enemies are too slow or just don't want to. You can also just wait for enemies to set the grass on fire, which is sadly sometimes better. Use one auto attack after swapping back in as Bennett from another character inside his burst to avoid getting a full cooldown of his skill since it takes a little while to reactivate. Strong pyro status applications like Bennett's skill allows you to melt all three hits or three out of the four hits if you have C6 Chongyun. Be careful around scatter groups of enemies so you don't use his burst in the wrong direction, especially when fighting Sisson mages. Diona's shield can reduce the stamina usage of a charge attack character like Kaching, and she's also the cryo half of Superconduct. Skill burst skill to immediately consume two Grimheart stacks to start building Eula stacks as fast as possible. Character swap out of Fish's burst instantly to cancel it, which you usually want to do since she's not invincible while she bursts and it doesn't do good damage anyway. It's all about just getting a second Oz on the field. Aim at the feet of enemies to avoid missing out on DPS if you have shame and just happen to miss a shot, or if they're in Venti's burst, the enemies are flying all over the place. It's usually just better just to aim at the floor and get that guaranteed DPS, since missing a shot is a much larger loss in DPS. The timing of Hu Tao's charge attack has a visual cue when her spear swings all the way to the right. This is the time you want to jump cancel her charge. Jean can trigger double fall damage by hitting them up with their charge attack, aiming her skill into the ground, flinging them into the ground, and then flying them up in the air. Kazuha can jump off of a wall and then skill and then attach back to the wall, allowing him to climb extremely high heights while being stamina efficient while doing so. Kaya's Constellation 2 doesn't need to actually land the kills to increase the duration, the tooltip is a little bit misleading here. Spam your attack after resurfacing on the water with Ayaka to make it a little bit easier to cross large bodies of water while also keeping your stamina topped off. Also hold back when you surface to make it so there's a little bit less chance that you'll pop into the water and possibly have to swim or abandon your trip. Kaching has two skill activations, double tap for electro Kaching and charge attack for physical Kaching. Please bombs can activate pressure plates. You can also push the little bombs onto the plates if they miss, which pretty good chance they will.
if you didn't know, and I don't blame you for not knowing this, because who the hell uses this character after like the first day they're playing? Lisa's skill has a tap version that applies her unique static status to enemies that increases her held skills damage. Use Mona's Sprint Resurface as a Hydra application to take Pyro Shields down just a little bit quicker since her auto attack internal cooldown is lengthy. Hold forward while attacking with Ning Long, do animation cancel her autos and attack significantly faster. When fighting with Noelle, if you want to heal, you want to burst before skill, and if you want to focus on damage, you want to skill before you burst. Avoid wishing on the standard banner to minimize chances of obtaining Chi Chi as much as possible. Razor's held skill can hit quite high above the ground from where it hits, hitting even oceanid birds. For enemies such as Ruin Guards that are too large for Azari to teleport behind, wait for them to commit to an attack that reveals their back, allowing you to trigger her passes. You can't run. Sayu is a natural fit into any general exploration team with her held skill speed and being half of the Anemo Resonance. Wielding a Claymore also allows you to mine with her regardless of who else is in your party, and your last two slots can be used for a tall character like Kaya, who also has the Sprint passive, and that leaves the fourth slot for you to put whoever you want in, probably a DPS or a character like Mona or Ayaka to sprint on water and just allow traveling the world is a little bit easier. Using Sucrose's charge attacks can tighten groups together, allowing you to use her skill or her burst better, and sword charge attacks also work fine for this. Child skill can be used on the move, allowing you to kill small clusters of animals easier than most other characters with 100% accuracy. Or break white iron ore, if you really want it for some reason. Venti is one of the best units in the game for canceling his skill into his burst since his tap skill animation is quite long. Keep a stress ball handy when using Zhongling in preparation for Gooba's targeting, driving you f***ing nuts. Nice. And you know what? As it turns out, when you want to record this little asshole not working properly, he just wants to work properly. F***ing smug little bear. Skill twice before bursting with Zhao, and both charges will be almost fully refreshed as the duration of his burst ends, allowing you to chain burst just a little bit easier if your energy regeneration isn't quite there yet. If you have Constellation 4 Jincho, make sure to burst before skilling to increase its damage as it hits pretty damn hard. If you have Constellation 2 Jinyan, you can build her as a burst damage nuke by building pure crit damage with a Black Cliff Claymore. Just, just use Yanfei's skill at zero stacks, it's, it's really the only nuance in her entire kit. Yoimiya's charge attack can be quite good at hunting small animals. Eh, when it wants to be. Using Zhongli's pillar backwards before you run into a fight can prevent Zhongli from turning to a life on the pole and ruining your reactions with Geo. And that's all 37. I hope you learned something from this, and if you did, let me know what you found the most useful. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.